Hi, I'm Dave with Everlast Fountains. We have been working on fountains for over 30 years and have decided that uh, we have a, I think, a much better feel and patent for, for fountains because of the amount of done, work we have done with them. With the, uh, a lot of byproducts that they use now, they have corn syrup and a lot of other things that are very acidic and they eat away at concrete. That's the concrete fountain. You can see the pitting of the concrete. And that's, that's come to a lot of it because the epoxy isn't quite holding up in a, uh, along with the amount of uh, the feed. And they eat away at our elements. The calcium from the water and the feed have collected around this element, which makes this element work really hard. It makes it overheat, thus it burns them out. You can see how thick it is on here already, and this element is less than a month and a half low old. So that's one of the reasons we went to stainless steel, and then we also put the element underneath. This has a lid that flips up because a lot of times you have to adjust the float because of problems with it dripping all the time. That's another weak point of these type of fountains, that uh, the cattle wear them out, and they wreck them, and the cattle, as you can see, have this side lifted already. They've been rubbing on that. So then a lot of times they get these lids ripped off and they, they wreck your, uh, your float chambers inside and you get a hold of your wires that go to your elements and they, they can get electrocuted that way. And that's why we designed ours with a fold over lid and, and bolts in all four corners to hold them down and a thicker stainless steel also to help hold them. Everlast Fountains, the next generation of cattle fountains. The first and last fountain you'll ever need designed for cattle and the cattlemen that work with them.